This Friday, Koreans will celebrate the 100th anniversary of a very important historic event that helped the nation break free from Japan's oppressive colonial rule. Ahead of the centennial of the March 1st independence movement, President Moon Jae-in emphasized the importance of Korea taking control in deciding the peninsula's fate. Shin Zemin tells us more. With Korea set to mark the 100th anniversary of the country's March 1st independence movement and the establishment of the provisional government, President Moon Jae-in highlighted the importance of Korea's leadership in deciding the fate of the country and the peninsula at large. Taking the weekly cabinet meeting outside the parameters of a public facility to a memorial of an independence fighter, the president said the country had come a long way since a hundred years ago when it was under the colonial rule and unable to decide its own fate. Emphasizing that the country is only one of seven countries in the world with more than 50 million people and per capita income of 30,000 U.S. dollars, the president said Koreans must take control of its own destiny. He also took pride that his country is now getting more attention and acknowledgments from around the world for its role in managing changes on the Korean peninsula. Also ahead of the Kim Trump summit in Vietnam, President Moon had previously called for preparation on resuming inter-Korean economic cooperation, something he said was required for Seoul to take control of the fate of the Korean Peninsula. In time for the anniversary of the 100th independence movement this week, the government also conferred the Republic of Korea medal to Yu Gwan Soon, a female martyr who symbolized the March 1st independence movement. It's an upgrade from the third highest civilian order she had been given before. Since I'm in, Arirang News.